It was trying times for those flouting traffic regulations as the National Transport and Safety Authority mounted a crackdown along the busy Nairobi Nakuru Highway. According to Simon Kurgat, an enforcement officer with the authority, the operation was targeting those flouting traffic regulations, including private vehicles illegally operating as public service vehicles. Nine vehicles were nabbed during the one-hour operation with their drivers released on a cash bill of 5,000 shillings awaiting to appear in court tomorrow. This is a national crackdown which is going on day and night. Elsewhere, the Mindeleo House pioneers and officials are locked in endless crisis meetings as they intensify their bid to end the financial and leadership wrangles at the Mindeleo Ewanawake organization that are threatening to tear it apart. The organization's officials are divided, with one side throwing their weight behind patron Jen Kiano, while the other have sworn their allegiance to the current national chairperson Rehab Mwikali. This interference with the Mindeleo administration cannot even let the counties filter Mindeleo SMEs to benefit from the 30% procurement, procurement tenders of the government. And Kajiado County Government has set aside 5 million shillings annually from the Constituency Development Fund to cater for Maasai Morans willing to pursue formal education. Calling on the Maasai community to embrace formal education, Kajiado Central Member of Parliament Elijah Memosi said, Though Moranism is a good culture, it is not enough in the 21st century where civilization has taken over with education transforming lives. Finally, the family of Jacqueline Lekato from Geki Village in Kisima location of Samburu Central Sub County is counting losses after hyenas attacked and killed a flock of sheep estimated to be worth half a million shillings last night. Residents are now calling on the Kenya Wildlife Service to find a way of taming the wild animals.